Hmm. Oh, hey. Camera obscura. We just run over this. Is someone here? Basic camera operations. Um, the camera obscura is a special camera that allows you to exercise spirits by taking photographs of them. Make sure they smile. When you face a direction where the spirit is, the filament at the bottom right of the screen or the top of the viewfinder will glow. Once you locate the spirit, raise the camera with the B button. Yeah, when you find a spirit, center it in the viewfinder screen. Push the shirt button, the right trigger to take a photo default settings so very similar to the other game what's up uh, hmm. one thing that is different whoops whoops there we go. the buttons are the same and I'm still messing up one thing that is different is we have a new type of film seven it's as you might imagine, worse than the 14. However, this film never runs out. Instead of giving us a um, hundred, like, 33, 14 film, the game gives us seven film unlimitedly. So you can just take pictures of anything at any time and not worry. Like, sup? Does the game even recognize that that was Mario? Yeah, it actually has the subject. That's neat. Uh, and as you can see, we've got 100 pictures we can save. Take a picture of our sister, because, you know, uh, that's sure to be fine. Uh, there's something on the floor, herbal medicine. Excuse me. Uh, seems to be a room beyond it. Okay, so... Presumably we, at some point, could go through there. I wonder. Just hop up here. The nice thing about having a camera now is we can... Uh, there's nothing there. We can look around a bit more easily. Uh. Okay, well, let's see what's... Here. Door woman. Get out of here. 
-hmm. The person you were feeling in the front door is now gone. It said you can capture things that ordinary people can't see with this camera. Could this be the power of the camera obscure? Uh, another thing you should note. Um, there is... Uh, if you see the film type 07 at the top right of the screen, take a picture. A very plain picture. You can see a bar slowly uh, refills. Uh, that is another disadvantage of type 7 film. It has a long cooldown between users. I'm pretty sure all the films have a cooldown, but the 7 obviously is the worst. And I can have a look. That's just a little store area. So, let's follow the advice of... Oh no, the door is held shut by some kind of powerful force. Hmm. Vanishes at door. One thing I think this game does a bit better than the earlier game is even if you take a picture of a ghost like that, they'll finish the animation. Uh, but we got the this to take care of. Different places seen in the photo. Looks like a coal br uh, brazier somewhere. Coal brazier photo. Blah, blah, blah. Check out that lighting. It's pretty darn neat. So yeah, now we just have to explore. Is there something? Oh, it's just a stain. It looked a lot darker for some reason. See, for some reason, it's not there. Weird. Uh, open this up. And lo and behold. If we do this. Something could be seen in the photo. It looks like an injured man. Either way, that uh, force stopping the door is now gone. Dang it. There's one reason why you might not want to use a Type 7 film. Oh no, it is actually rendered. The tree looks very flat with the textures. Okay, that's what confused me. Except Mia. Mario. Forgot I'm Mia. That makes sense. <laughs> so I don't know how often I'll use Type 7 film. I, I suppose it depends on how much 14 we get. Because remember, 14 as well is not that good. We'll walk a bit, give our sister a chance to catch up. It's open. Uh, so we came in here for a reason. Looks like the atrium behind the lantern. See a deck uh, beyond the atrium. Come on, just spill out the large chest. There isn't anything else inside. Miss anything, did I? 
May have. May not have. It's funny, I think we came into this room a bit earlier than we probably should have. Because <laughs> we got the note. Ah, there we go. Not gonna lie, I'm amazed that didn't style either of you. Because, yeah, it didn't necessarily style us, but... Even, like, I... If that was being real life and a door just fell off a cabinet, I would be like, BAH! That was good timing. Woman behind that. Of course, these are, once again, giving us points. And, once again, we can upgrade our... Uh, our things. Ooh, not too... Oh, however, a slight difference this time. We first need to find a spirit orb to do it. Yeah. And once again, we have range, increase the capture size, accumulation, uh, raises max spirit power, and sensitivity. Uh, but we'll worry about them later. Excuse me. So we now have the ginger key. That was very loud. So let's go. Wow, that was that was very quick. Um, it's a power block engraved with the family crest represented ginger on the door. You unlock the door with the ginger key. Key? Ginger key. Uh. Anything useful about them? There's something in the drawer. Terrible medicine. Uh, the surface is full screen. It's loose and it's fallen off. It's probably uh, depicted a painting scene at one time, but it's impossible to tell now. Yep. Very impossible to tell. Uh, oh. Ah, oh, I don't think I got it in time. Box is piled up in the hallway. It shut tight and won't open. And there was a thing here. How much time has passed since I came here? How long will this night last? I can't take the darkness. It's driving me crazy. I have to get out of here. I have to see Masumi. Uh, I must be tired. If I start to relax, I'll pass out. Even in a crazy place like this, the darkness here is creeping into my dreams. Slaughter, there is a blood, fallen people, a woman in a blood-stained kimono. Insane laughter, and twin sisters calling out, don't kill me. The woman's laugh is seared into my mind. I don't want to sleep anymore. Maybe we should upgrade to film 14 for a bit. For no reason. Stands behind. Uh, side door stuck fast. He tried to open it, but without any luck. Are you trapped? This doesn't seem good. The bookcase has fallen over, and the old book scrolls of thingy. Some of the books appear to be allowed. Local legends and tales, but there's no useful details. Ooh, wow. A book about the village was on the old bookshelf. Folklorist notes. The ceremony master, Mr. Kurosawa, gave me a very warm welcome. The village has no chief. The ceremony master presides over the village. I wonder if this village was founded by people who wanted to preserve their sacred rituals and festivals. Most notable amongst all gods' folklore is the Gate to Hell legend that has been passed down for years. It's an atypical 
uh, I can't know how to say that. Tale of a great, of a gate or hole that masks, that marks the border to the world of the dead, also called Hades, the underworld, or the netherworld. It is a forbidden place that is feared and hated, but also worshipped as well. The idea of hell has been a core belief of humans since ancient times. This village supports the theory that the belief is universal. The forbidden ritual uh, regarding this gate to hell that takes place here is something no one is allowed to see or speak of. It, this strict taboo is probably the result of a ceremony cons concerning the border with hell coming closer to the living world. Villagers lead a simple life. Deep in the mountains, they struggle to forage food for their daily meals. The village has little contact with the outside world. They continue to practice the ways of the old frozen in time. Hmm. Interesting. Excuse me. Let's not pick that up yet and continue to explore. The lamp is lit. There's a scroll spread out on the table and looks like someone was copying something onto it. It's written in ancient characters, you don't know what it says. What about in here? Nothing. Okay, that's... Woman's Notebook 8. Most of the pages have been ripped out. I assume he found my note. He was in this village. I could see him soon. I can't move. I'll wait here. He'll be back. He'll find the way out. If he comes back. He came. The last part of the memo stops abruptly. She also became trapped here. She came into this house looking for her boyfriend. And then, where did she go? This place must be. Uh, capturing exercise in spirits. You can exercise spirits by taking photographs of them with the camera obscured. The greater the response indicate on the charge gauge in the capture circle, the greater damage you can inflict on the spirit. When the charge gauge glows red, that indicates a shutter chance. If you could shoot during the in this instance, you can inflict heavy damage to the spirit and repel it back further. Black, uh, blast back. Using this blast back ability will push back an approaching spirit. Uh, you must have film to shoot. When shooting in succession, you have to wait for the next shot to load before shooting again. While loading, pressing the shutter button will have no effect. Load time is shown at the top right of the screen. High power film gives more damage and loads quicker. So yes, first ghost encounter. Well, that was a mess. Unlike the first game, it's not so much the camera. The camera doesn't charge as much. Ooh. Its charge is more based on. Uh, how close you are to the ghost. So you really have to let the ghost get close to... That was a bit... Fatal frame, zero shot. <laughs> Standing frame. You can see it was getting stronger.
Hmm. Chapter 2. Two Shrine Maidens. There's something on the floor. Agonite. Looks like a glowing blue crystal. That spirit must have dropped it. Once you find the spirit stone radio, you can use the radio in the menu to listen to spirits. Spirit orb acquired. Spirit orb. Spirit orb are used to... Are items used to raise the maximum levels of the camera's basic functions or power-up lenses. Use the spirit orb from function upgrades on the camera menu to increase the maximum level of the camera functions or power-up lenses. After adding a spirit orb to one of the camera's basic functions or power-up lenses, you can raise its level by using the points you've accumulated through the captured spirits. So yeah, if you have a look now at camera, you can go to equip, oh no, uh, add spirit orbs. So, this speed isn't necessarily a thing in this one. I kind of want to just wait and get sensitivity. Uh, looks like a radio. Choose radio uh, to hear the spirit voices you need. Uh, you found an old book on the table that seems to be about the radio. Spirit Stone Radio. Through the use of crystals in its circuits, this improvised version of a crystal radio is able to tune into voices from the spirit world. If a person wears a crystal for a long time, their thoughts will remain within, creating a special type of crystal, a spirit stone. According to Dr. Asso, the radio can also pick up the sounds of the spirit world, indicating feeling and intuitions in a similar manner to the sympathetic phenomenon that occurs between twins. Hmm. So if you were to now go to radio and use the Agonite, the blue Agonite left uh, where the woman who is wandering into the village was. So that's one thing I kind of like about this game. It puts more emphasis on some of the ghosts and we get some more individual ghost background. It's just kind of cool. In the first game, we didn't really learn much about most of the ghosts. 